Hello, my name is Ambrose. Here on my hand is an Australian native giant earwig. Let's have a look at it. Giant earwigs are usually around 50 millimetres long. Their diet consists of plant matter, both living and decaying. Check out its tracks in the sand. They're very cool and interesting. If you see these tracks on a bushwalk or anywhere, it could have been a giant earwig. Earwigs look very similar to rogue beetles as they both have long, flat and flexible bodies. But you can tell them apart as earwigs have hardened pincers at the end of their abdomen. These are called circe. Earwigs sometimes use their circes in a threat display. Although they are harmless to humans, they can still give a very bad pinch. Some earwigs are predators. They use their circe to capture small insects and drag them away. You can tell if an earwig is a male, as the circe curve inwards. Unlike females, which the circe are straighter, just like this. Another way you can tell if your earwig is a female or a male is by examining its abdominal segments. If it has 10, it's a male. And if it has eight abdominal segments, it's a female. Most species of earwigs are nocturnal and you might find some on flowers as they like pollen and are nocturnal pollinators. Now, what's unusual about earwigs is that the females care for their eggs and young nymphs. This maternal behaviour is a trait usually only found in social insects like wasps and bees, but it seems like earwigs are an exception. The female earwig guards their eggs, cleans their eggs, and gathers their eggs when they become scattered. What a lovely mother. When the eggs hatch, the nymphs look a lot like their mother, except they're white. She will feed them until they're old enough to fed them themselves. Then they must leave her care, as she might become cannibalistic and eat them. Well, I better say goodbye. So thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe and you can join me on our next adventure. Bye.